Ooh, this is different. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Voices of the Void. And you know how I always say that spooky season is a season and not a day? Well, it seems like Eternity Dev have decided the same thing because this came out November 1st, 2024, meaning that it's a Halloween event coming out the day after Halloween, apparently due to a delay. And listen to that. A Halloween spooky version of Queen Mary's funeral. This is quite the event. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now its own tab. Very spooky, much scary. Spooky atmosphere, always night with a red glowing mist effect. Functions the same as infinite game mode and uses the same save files. Interesting, so it's not just an event now, it's actually a whole game mode. Well, let's try it. So here we are. And I'm not sure if this is actually a full-on event or if it's just a spooky change to the map, honestly. Uh, but if we go over... Excuse me! We have a full, like, visible body model when we look down now! Alright, well, I, I guess we're gonna... Hang on. Equi there's an equipment tab. We can just see that over here. That's convenient, but look, we can see our flashlight, our glasses... Imagine if we actually saw in, like, blurry mode when we not, weren't wearing our glasses. Imagine if we could lose our glasses and have to, like, feel around for them. Okay, I'm not going to give them any ideas. That would be horrible. And I've just noticed that when the compass is not equipped, we actually can't see it on the HUD. That is so cool. That is so cool. All right, let's equip all of our stuff. Can we use our flashlight now? No, not equipped. I'm sorry, I'm just gushing over this huge leap forward this incremental patch has taken. Uh, anything else here? It's all the usual stuff, so let's grab that. And do our walk to the base. <laughs> this is probably going to be the beginning of the next episode if nothing much is going to happen, if there's no real goal. But it's definitely worth taking a look, right? Ooh, it seems some new roadsides have been added to point out bridges. That'll be useful when we're trying to navigate in the dark. You know what else will be useful when we're navigating in the dark? The ominous red haze falling over this base. <laughs> the reflection of the sky almost seems to make the river turn to blood. Now the question is, are those spooky creatures out here? Look at the tower framed up between the trees like that. Apparently my video on the previous Halloween special actually came out as this update came out. And at first I was like, don't, but I guess it's not so bad considering this is really more of a cosmetic thing now. And even still, I wonder if we'll get, like, different signals in the Halloween mode. Yeah, this is definitely something else. Oh god, for all I know, there could be all kinds of new spooks out there, even in the base game. Alright, let's activate the camera. Get inside. And boop. And let's get everything working. Yep. Oh look, paper has a new model now. One, two, three, four, pass. It's now properly stained like all my school papers. There we go. And let's get you on. Hey there, Melvin. Okay, if, if there's to be nothing different about this otherwise, then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, try for some signals. Also, it seems like this thing is starting with, uh, with the handbrake on now. So no more spooky ATV rolling when we first get in here. Kind of a shame. And the notepad is now quite easy to lose. I guess Monique has been hard at work on new models. 
Wait. Oh, everything is now properly highlighted with text when we mouse over it. I'm not sure if I like that. I wonder if that can be turned off or not. I mean, it's certainly useful for sure, especially if you're just starting. There we are. No way I'm doing this again. <laughs> but maybe this could be a season of its own, even. Well, we won't know until we start looking for a signal. And we'll do that before we've even turned the computer on. It doesn't seem to be doing the upgrade bug, so that's good. Is it just me, or has the lighting also been improved in a lot of ways? I don't know, this just seems to be a lot more real looking, like the shadows fall off in a soft fashion. It's really, really spooky. Maybe it's just the interaction with the red, I don't know. Bathroom's still gross. Actually, I'm gonna want that. Thank you. You know, something just occurred to me. This is probably the perfect game mode for just chilling in your base and having cozy sleepovers. Being locked in there, waiting for the spooks, because uh, presumably all the same events can still happen. But it's endless night. This is basically Voices of the Void dark mode in its function. Oh, you are here, you are here, you are here, you are here, you are here. Okay, these creatures are still afoot, so there is a constant threat from moment one. And we don't want to plunge ourselves into the lake just yet. Not today, spooky boys. Oh, here it comes. I mentioned in the last video that I think it's really cool how they actually kind of emulate the headlights of an ATV. Imagine that as an event, hearing another ATV out in the countryside while you're out here in the dark, or even seeing the headlights in the distance that always disappear when you get to them. I refuse to believe the ghosts of my compatriots aren't still haunting this base. I mean, case and point. Yep. Okay, so locking doors quite necessary in this mode. Not doing it can be forgiven early on normally, but not here. You gonna actually close or No, I just wanna see if the signals are any different, but I don't think they are. Radar is picking up contacts. But unless that thing has already gotten back here, it doesn't seem to be showing up. According to the history, things are in motion. Hey, some of the beers is working now. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know why I keep doing this. I hate being in this state. You, you should be almost done soon. Oh my god, let's not zoom in when we're like this. Let's just... Let's just have a seat. Uh, we can't even do this, really. You know, it had not occurred to me that we wouldn't be able to process these things up anyway. But that doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't really seem like there's much reason to screw around in this mode right now. <laughs> Although, maybe later. Who knows, maybe it has some unique events. But I'll save that for another time. In the meantime, I've got a save to get back to. Should I still do my intro? I'm not sure. We're getting into the episode proper now, since it seems this isn't going to be a Halloween special, and yep. It seems that it really is better lighting. Okay, I position that light a little bit higher so that hopefully the corners won't be so drenched in darkness at night. At least until we can get some proper stuff over there. But in the meantime... We are at war, and we should not forget that. 
Last time we had an encounter in the woods with some kind of organic battle potato pig. And it's much more dangerous flamethrower turret on wheels. Now, we were able to disable that thing. I'm not sure if it will remain on its side. But I'm thinking we should perhaps go have a look. I also just heard a grumble. Does it maybe do that when we're hungry now? That would be crazy. Uh, now, of course, we are going to need to upgrade our arsenal if we're going to deal with this. And one of the things I've long been waiting to do is something you've been saying for a long time, which is microwave the grav gun. Now, I've done this before in previous seasons, but I figure for those of you now joining us, uh, you should... Hello? Hello, there we go. You should see just what this does. Yep. Come on. Ah, oh, these doors are so annoying. I, f I feel like they're more annoying now. Thank you. Uh, let's set you to, say, 15. Yep. Hide in the bunker. Come on. Is it doing it? Oh, no. That roach is going to get powers. That was not enough. Okay, more power, and we are getting out of here. Uh, kids, don't worry about it. I'll get you something to compensate for your mental anguish having to hear all that in the next room. Just give me a moment. I am so I was so caught off guard opening these doors to see a brick wall in front of me. I thought I'd transfer myself into the back rooms or something. Whoa, the price of burgers is shot through the roof. God, what are they, charged by the polygon or something? All right, well, all that will be coming now. I, hmm, I actually can't quite remember what our next goal was going to be. I mean, as far as purchases go, maybe we just focus on base renovations, which is a weird dual goal to have when it comes to figuring out how to fight the things that apparently did this. That's what I believe. Everything so far has more or less ignored me. These are the first things to actually attack me, and so... I think these are the hostile aliens that we've been awaiting this entire time, and not related to the other stuff we've encountered. Now, one suggestion you guys had made is that we actually employ the use of the pickaxe. Now, I had noticed this, but wasn't sure what to do with it. When we hit that thing with the Molotovs, it seemed to open a couple of vents on its side, exposing some glowing canisters. You said that the pickaxe is capable of puncturing those. So, if that one is still down out there, that's what we're going to try and do. We'll leave our ATV outside so that it can get the most out of its, uh, out of its stuff. Just don't let it get crushed. And let's keep an eye out in every direction. Sometimes you feel like you've got this. It can be very easy to forget that you are under siege. God, I, I really do love this new equipment screen. It makes things so much easier. Oh, wow. I think you actually destroyed that drive. I've never seen that happen before. I also just ate two full takeout boxes, so his food maybe been nerfed a bit? I mean, that's fine, but still. It seems there may have been some balancing changes as well. I have not had a look at the change log yet. All right, now this is going right up here, and since it seems to reset between saves, I think it'll be a good idea to just kind of send this thing up, uh, especially once Eerie is a little bit older and starts walking, which, uh, if I do this right, should be this episode. Let's just place you down right there. There we go. Now it's a proper children's room. Let's get the lights on, too. This place needs to be a little bit homier. We'll fill this place with all sorts of posters and toys, including... Oh, I've got to, I've got to print another one you guys gave me. Huh. 
Huh, it seems like the notebook in my inventory still has the old model. Maybe it only applies to some of them, or maybe it's because I was already holding it. I'm not sure what kind of conflicts are going to be created with this version, but whatever. We are going to create our reports. I know it's somewhat dangerous, but honestly, Monique has shown herself to be very confident at this sort of thing. So you go get those reports. Meanwhile, what are you guys up to? Working hard? Yeah, more like hardly working, boss. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yep, according to this, you are working quite hard, so that's good. Uh, some of you told me that this does not stay between saves, so that's a little lame. Uh, but you did give me advice for something else we can do, which is we can set it down like so. Yep. And perhaps uh, if we stand it up just right, we can... <laughs> uh, that is not what I was expecting, but I love it. Uh, why can't we keep these in frame? <laughs> Quirks of the new model, I suppose. All right, I, I, I know we're in the middle of a dangerous alien invasion, but it's never not time for dad pranks. Wait. Kids, kids help! Something horrible has happened to me! I think I stepped inside the matter converter and oh my god! <laughs> Just kidding, it's me, your dad. <laughs> anyway, you can have that right here, so that you think a demonic version of me is always watching. Sleep tight, kids. Yeah, unfortunately the bottles that were here do seem to still be bugged. Which means they're pretty useless to me. I am going to have to order more of these things so I can make more Molotovs to deal with the rest of what's out there. Because I want to be able to roam freely. This is my place, and even if it would work to just kind of stay here, I, I, I'm not going to accept that. I have worked too hard and for too long and pissed off way too many of my superiors for this to fail. So let's activate this and go to sleep. <laughs> This can end nothing but well. Wow. Okay, I think I'm just staying away for too long. I think the effect only lasts a little while. Oop, Monique is back. Yeah, I, I really did not plan my sleeping well here. Thank you. And you can wait here. Meanwhile, I am going to go out there and get to work. William is our landmark for finding these things. It seems he's still not taking our sacrifice. Well, I'll just take that right back then. Ungrateful. Oh, we don't have enough space. All right, well, you can just kind of hold on to that for now. But it should be... Are we going to fit? Eh, barely. should be right over here somewhere. hear you. I'm... I'm too afraid to handle it. What do you mean? Well, at least it's not exploding. What do you mean you're too afraid to handle it? Don't check it out now. You're still down. Oh, well, that's no good. That's no good at all, you know? Oh, my God. Do we maybe need to, like, buy something? Oh, God, please don't write yourself. I'll tell you what. You can smile, because you're on candid camera. Just staring each other down now. Maybe it's those things down there, or are those just headlights? I would imagine they're on your sides. Hey, look at this! Yeah, I bet you miss the days when you could be mobile. But... Oh wait, no, it's those things on the back. I see now. Okay, it looks like your treads are on either side of 
tree trunk, which is good for us. We should be able to get you right here if we can get you to ignore us. I was just aiming at the wrong thing. Carrying first aid may be a good idea. You are omniscient once you've spotted me, though. Nope! Okay, well, that didn't work. Nope. Uh, I need to immobilize you for longer. And there's not really... Even though you're down, there's not really a good angle where I can get at you. I'm worried about you dislodging yourself. Right now, you're down for the count. God, messing around with a downed enemy just trying to figure out the best way to kill it sort of reminds me of this save's namesake. Ah, our 3D printing project is done. Kerf Liberty. <laughs> ah, we are blending worlds here. And, oh, it looks like she... Oop. Even lights up. Okay. Kerf Liberty, you're gone. Well, I guess it's time to show something that I don't believe I've shown before in this series. Oh, no. Has it been... Has it been... Oh, there we go. I love this. It's just like a little dev feature where you can climb underneath the base in a convenient way so that you can grab anything that happens to fall through the floor. I mean, in a game that's buggy, it's really nice to be able to, like, give players access to stuff like this. Although I was really freaked out when I discovered it last season. Yep. Mainly because I couldn't figure out how to get out. I was trapped under here for days with the roaches and the raccoons. This game needs raccoons going through your trash making noise at night. Alright, I know we haven't even fully hatched Eerie yet, but there This thing may have some collision issues. Radar is still showing a lot, but not nearly as much as yesterday. We got some things on the outskirts. One thing over by the hole. Not a ton, though. Actually, there is one thing I kind of want to check out. So I'm going to... Okay, we need to make some space. So we'll get rid of that. And that. When you told me that there is something to do by the hole. Ew. All right, if we... Don't drop you, but instead just kind of put you right down here beside the candle. There you go, now you work perfectly. Meanwhile, we've got stuff to do. Okay, you're nothing there. Gotta process you up so we can actually get this job done. And thankfully it's a small one. Oh. Hey, Keljoy's been knocked down at some point. How did that happen? There is, okay, same number of things, but I do want to get over to the hole immediately. And also, I swear one of these days, I am going to do the Wolfgang thing. As always, it's my goal to do it in this episode. It's just, we're in the late game. Distractions keep happening. But I am very curious. Besides, one of our radar contacts is over there. Okay, we're on the hill leading up to the hole, but I'm not seeing what's supposed to be here. Although the vague textures of trees in the dark are jump-scaring me in my peripheral vision. There's a certain feeling in this game when you're out at sunset. Not when you go out at night, because that's a different kind of fear. This is the one where you know that it's going to be dark soon. Gives you the feeling that you've missed out on shelter, you know? Might as well start grinding <laughs> towards that airtime achievement. Ah, oh, it doesn't count. I mean, it preserved our count, but it doesn't count the ones that it seemed like it did in the Halloween event.
Ooh, was this vehicle here before? I don't believe it was. <laughs> I don't know if that's part of this update or if these drop from the sky too. Empty. Okay. Ooh, and this gravel pit has a danger sign. Kind of like those signs they put up where irradiated waste is stored, huh? We already got a hit. Hang on. Right there. Come on, I was just there. Come on. There. Bone. Here, ooh, on a hill. This might be difficult. Come on. Another bone. We're literally only finding skeleton pieces right now. Anything more? Yes, right away. What is going on here? It's like a mass grave or something. Even more now. I don't know if I'm putting them to rest or disturbing them. And I've been watching too many ghost shows this entire time to not be concerned about this. I'm literally getting hits the second I start searching every time. They're everywhere. Nothing necessarily directly at the top of the pile. But oh, here's another thing. I I've got to go after this. I'm just I'm just trying to search in as many places as I can. But on a rounded object, it's hard to get a correct white hit. There we go. But it seems to all be the same as far as I can tell. I have recovered like no less than nine bones doing this, I think. But I've got to get a move on right now. I shall be back. I think maybe the ATV is a little less prone to getting dinged up right now because I have had some spills that probably would have damaged me in previous episodes. I I've got to take the time to read the full change log. Drone should be on its way to take our job for the day. That's just a light post over there, but I'm very, very concerned about lights in the distance. We seemingly got invaded, but it doesn't really feel like much has made its way to us, so that's good. But I still think we need to prepare some more Molotovs as soon as I figure out why we can't throw them. I'm wondering if maybe we need, like, some kind of suit for that? Maybe the hazmat suit would allow us to do it. Just so, so much that needs to be done right now. If I set you... wait, if I set you on this wall, it may not be wide enough. Yeah. I know it was too good to be true. Uh, nope, here we go again. Everything is active once more. I knew it was too good to be true. They were just waiting until the dead of night. Well, I'm gonna have to be ready for them, right? But in the meantime, I really, really do need some sleep. I've been surviving off coffee for, like, days. Just go ahead and see what we can do with this thing, though, right? God, there's literally an entire skeleton in my inventory right now. You know what? You kids need some toys in the meantime, right? Here, let's just drop a few of these around the room. We'll know that every bone that's in here is part of, uh, of, of the gravel pile by the hole. There we go. And there, just make yourselves a fort or something, okay? Let's actually actively watch it this time. It 
It's like an 80s movie. You know, the part where the monster is created due to strange science and levitation and flashing lights. Huh. I'm actually not sure if it works anymore now. Unless something's wrong. Oh god, don't unplug yourself. <laughs> Look at this! I think you unplugged yourself. Monique, you were just watching me do that whole thing. Okay, maybe it doesn't work anymore. <sighs> I'll clean that up later. In the meantime, this wall is just about finished. Yeah. And maybe we'll just kind of hand place the rest. If, if it'll let us. Yep. And... Yep. And now that it's all said and done, I'm not entirely sure what the point of that was. But we did it. And of course, with all these threats, one of the most important parts of maintaining our security infrastructure is going to be making sure we have power. Looks like some things are out there, but not all. In fact, it should be up on that hill now. Maybe I'll go out there and check. I may have to go out anyway if we have power problems. Oh yeah, TR2 desperately needs it. TR2 desperately needs it, so I'm going out there tonight. I need to figure out how to handle Molotovs. Maybe there's something even in the description. Nope. In fact, there's no description at all. I've really just been walking around with baguettes this entire time. Eerie likes to make fun of Pinkfist and Bluefist for sleeping with a nightlight, but what she doesn't want to admit is that she enjoys one as well. So, there we go. Her friend in the dark. I really imagine Eerie as being like a Louise Belcher type personality. You know, considering they keep sending me the same canned messages in response to the crazy stuff I'm sending out, I like to think that they never bothered canning that many messages because they never expected somebody to survive this long. At a certain point, I become an experiment in and of myself. They keep trying to come up with increasingly convoluted ways to kill me, and eventually they decide, well, why are we trying to kill him when, if anything, I might be the solution they're looking for? A uh, solution so that they don't have to do this anymore. I still wonder if this is more of a science experiment or more of a sacrifice. Like there's some kind of arrangement that they willingly play into. We've got some transformers to check and because we've got time... I was gonna do a world tour. I hear something. You hear that, right? Oh my god. I'm so worried about the power going down, but I can't miss this opportunity. There is something out there. Also, I should... Hang on, wait. Lighter. I don't remember if that does anything or not, but I kind of want to try it. Okay, nope, never mind. They found me. All right, well, here's what we're going to do instead then. Door's locked. We're going to get this power sorted. And then we're going to go back in and lock down. Yep, I hear you out there. Hopefully you can be stuck in the water for a while. It took you a while, but your pathfinding seems to have improved a bit. I need to get back there post-haste. I can't really do anything to defend them, though. Except maybe with a pickaxe, which is on the floor. That's right, come follow me. I want to see those lights coming my way, not back home. Also, you don't have any hands, and I doubt you could guess the keypad combination. Then again, I've never changed it. Maybe I should. 
Some of you have suggested, even as far back as Season 1, that the aliens could actually, like, figure it out if you don't change it often enough. I don't know if that's actually true, but one of the best things about this is that it's so open, there's room to not know if things are actually true. Kinda reminds me of all the old San Andreas myths back in the day. Alright, we've left that thing behind. I don't think they're particularly fast, but... Well, we, now we know there's more than one. It's not just a Bebop and Rocksteady situation. One of them is knocked over, one of them is trapped in Stonehenge. I am fine to- Leave that as it is! You're not slow, either! I'm sorry, there used to be some meat here I could offer you. And there's no door on this thing, of course. Yep. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more Molotovs. I've gotta test if maybe it'll let me do it while wearing the hazmat suit. Meantime, uh, while I'm out here, TR3 could also use a checkup. Did I just get hurt by something? I might have run myself over a little bit without taking physics damage? I don't know. I swear there was like a red flash. Alright, there you go. Sun is rising. But as we know, they do not leave. Actually, I should probably see how the arrows are holding up. Arrivals and arrows, the two acceptable pronunciations. Okay, you know what? That one was fair. Hey, look, it's my ATV sliding away. <gasps> you came back for me! <laughs> I knew you were loyal! Oh, I see now. That little dot, it's a new reticle. So that indicates, like, a climbable surface, I guess. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I thought that the other one was kind of intrusive at times, honestly. This one solves that problem, but also I had kind of grown accustomed to it. Yep. Okay, might as well go over to TR1, only because I want to visit the campsite and see how they're doing. are. Alright, you didn't really need it, but that's a Transformer World Tour, which means we are good for the foreseeable future. And as for you, well, you're still parked there just fine. Maybe these things aren't here for you. Maybe they're here for me. The occupants of that vehicle probably weren't part of it. Oh, no. I really hope this isn't you. Oh, no. I'm gonna leave these shrimp here and that will serve as our test, I guess. God, did they come for you? Look at this! Well, they managed to destroy one at least. Two! Maybe that's a good sign? Uh, then again, I mean, this is a lot of meat. Maybe there's even something organic about them. I mean, the pigs are, clearly. Maybe we can even... Maybe we can even take a piece back for study. I mean, of course I'd like to grab all this and bring it back for a full set. In fact, maybe we can start here? If we have our hook... There we go. This one might be too heavy. Yeah, that's really, really heavy. I don't think this one's gonna... I don't think this one's gonna work. Also, we need new batteries. Let's grab this thing, put you here, and try to bring it back. At least this piece won't be too heavy. I really hope that's the blood of your enemies and not your own. But I guess time will tell. Whatever they are, you have a means to kill them. I just 
wish you would share with the rest of the class. And maybe your power washers are even powerful enough to do it. Maybe we can try the gravity gun. Oh look, this thing's landed on the front. This is actually quite a bit easier. We can't get it to stay stably. But we have recovered another alien artifact. We could open a museum at this point. Now, if anything, there was something to learn from this gun. Well, now I'm inspired. We may not be just protecting ourselves and our own family. I just wish they could have come to us directly and told us about this. Maybe we could have worked something out, worked out our own arrangement. There's something out there over by William. As always, I doubt we'll be able to see. Uh. What was that? Was that just a lighting bug? Or was something weird happening? Whoa, oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Be quiet, Evie, be quiet. Huh. I think I hear something strange, but it's so faint, I can't tell. It's in-game. 100% it's in-game. Windmill? Tower? I don't see anything yet. I'm gonna get upstairs and have myself a coffee because I think this is gonna be another one of them long ones. And I guess a little sit down. Which anyone would need after the things I've been through. I know I'm relying on you less and less, but the dangers are more and more. Maybe whatever I should be looking out for is on the ground. But I know, I know I keep hearing something. I just have this real worry that whatever I'm hearing may already be in the base. sounds like it's coming from over there. I think I'm gonna have to go for a run on the ATV to try and track this down. Ow. Bounce. Boing. There is a whole lot over by William. Everything's concentrating over there, so I think that's what I have to go check on. I just want to make sure that my job is getting done well enough that I can afford to leave. I mean, if I'm trying to rub all this in my superior spaces, then I at least have to give them no ammo to work with, right? Nothing they can possibly blame me for? Alright, let's go. Let's just do this. Oh, and there's a thing on you. You're offline, so it at least visually shows us now. To remember to do that before we go. I won't, but I have to remember. Oh god, this thing's got no fuel either. Okay, this bucko's still trapped here. I don't see the pig in here, but it's a pretty wide cage that it dropped into. Other than that, I can't find anything. It's like it just came and went. 
It's like this time I actually sensed what Kel senses when he can't go to sleep. Which, by the way, we are operating on dangerously little. Now that it's daytime, I'm gonna go over here and try and get some pictures of this carnage. There's some over here, too. Maybe this fight extended into the woods? Are there more? Is this, like, maybe a trail that I can follow? I don't see any more. I don't think there were that many Arai rolls to leave this much. Something's clanking. It's almost like somebody's inside banging to be let out. Sorry, I don't know how your controls work. Uh, here's the remains of you. I was wondering if anything has any like exposed tanks that I can do some test work on. Have you eaten? It looks like you actually might have. So that would be a very good sign, right? Hearing that sound again. I don't even know if you can hear it after EQ. Battle pig. Hang on right here, buddy. Are you are noticing me. You're really still gonna do this? Yep. I can kind of joust you. But you can't get me while I'm in here. You have no ability to hop. Can we bash you on your little piggy head? Looks like we can. Question is, will this actually work? Eh. Ooh. Don't want you getting airborne like that. This is like the dumbest possible version of Cujo. Oh no. Yep. Uh, I thought you had landed inside for a second. I don't know if this is actually doing anything or not. I have anything else I can fight you with? I put down all my proper tools. I had to make room in my inventory for bones. Oh, you're in. You are in? Okay. Well, now, 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 now it's a real bullfight. Uh, fortunately, you were able to get out. You're actually doing a number on me, too. I need to survive for a little bit. Get my health back. Some of the sounds that you make. I wonder, can I... Can I actually lasso you? Oop! Oop! Ah, come on! Ah, oh, it didn't work. Come on. Yep. Yeah, okay, I need to... I need to get out of here. My health is not doing well enough for this. Goodbye. I also don't know if I should risk trying to run you over for damage right now. God, why can't I use the Molotovs? That would have been a perfect opportunity to try and roast you. The vignetting is so bad we actually can't even see our health anymore. This is about the time when we start needing to be much more concerned, I think. Alright, but the lockdown stands. As I get my strength back, Piggy. As soon as I get my strength back, I'll be ready for round two. Alright, let's try that. I 
may not have fully recovered, but I can at least try this on you. If you're still around out here. Maybe the inability to save, maybe the sound, is just you hovering about. But I still can't do it. I swear it's directional, too. It's just this little hum that keeps showing up in my right ear. Then again, it does seem to swing around, and it's making me extremely paranoid. Okay, we've done Cujo. Can we go back to Tremors again? I saw that move just now. Oh, there you are. You're over there. Okay, that's not gonna work. We need to get you in an enclosed space, and I may know just how to do that. Let's find out. Can you open doors? Oh, hey, there's some meat on the ground. Maybe you did hurt yourself at some stage. Come on. Right this way. I imagine you can see me. Yep. Let's drop that. This way. Ow. Come on. Yep. I oh, know. It's the opposite of what I want. Down here. Down here. Here we go. There we are. Oh no, you're prying the door open. Slowly, but you're doing it, which means lockdown isn't safe. Oh, Melvin, don't try and take credit for that. Wait, what did I set it to? What did I set it to? Uh, there we go. Thank. Ah. Well, we did it. <laughs> Get on the wire with the other cities. Let them know we know how to take them down. Ooh, we even got some metal and electronic scrap. You're gonna be a GPU mining rig one of these days. <laughs> hey, Monique, the kids like pork chops, right? Do you think they would be okay with eating little else but pork chops for a while? Doesn't matter. I need a victory rest. I can't afford to sleep through the night, but, uh, you know, I, I gotta take my sleep where I can. What time is it? Eh, almost two o'clock. Gonna have to make this brief, because I'm not the only one who wants to do some eating. That was a really cool encounter. And I love how the lack of proper combat in this game means that you can defeat them but you almost like cinematically have to improvise. In this case, trying to do like a bullpen style fight, creating our own boss fights in the process, and then the encounter in the bunker where I thought we had trapped it for research purposes, only to have my heart sink as I realized it was actually going to pry its way out of there, and by extension, they can pry their way in here. It means I can't just turtle this thing anymore. We need to be proactive, but you know what? That's one less. And between us and the Arirals, I think we've got a good Gimli lead here. Another asteroid, how's that sound? Scary as they often do, though I must say I'm quite desensitized by this point. Wolfgang, let's see what we can do. Actually, hmm, maybe Wolfgang likes pork. One of the new signs is a radiation danger symbol over this way. 
Are these meant to warn people away from the cave? Maybe they know what's really down there. <laughs> Look at that, overlapping signs. I guess one didn't work. But yeah, we have brought a pumpkin. I don't know if this will work if it's on the end of that. But this is to lure out Wolfgang. There you go. And then we can oops, drop, drop, drop. And then just drop a whole bunch of baguettes. Come on. Oh, and a Molotov. Please d don't eat the Molotov. That one's not... Oh, God. I hope that doesn't screw things up. You just ate a colossal amount of food. So you said that I can ride, Wolfgang. Is that true? Oop. Well, I could climb on you. Sort of. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on here, but the lack of saving is gone. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, you were not happy about that. Can I follow you down? Look at you. Yeah, let me just follow the pathway right back in here. What is that noise? I do not like it in conjunction with the music. Wolfgang? Is that just a physics issue? Because it actually sounds like a beat. Oh no. Can I... Wait. Oh, you've eaten all the food that was in the corner here. Are you doing something? You just ate ten baguettes and like six pieces of flesh. I have a bunch of fungus for you. Can you slurp that up? There you go. There you go. There you go. Here, buddy. The turns life takes in this game, huh? <laughs> you guys had told me, like, a ridiculous amount of food. At a certain point, I feel like we're getting to the stage where it's more than you can eat, right? Or more than I can carry, even. Uh, this over here. Here, try not to explode, will ya? Well, if nothing else, you're eating good. Oh, that's hilarious. Falling boulder signs crushed by a falling boulder. But, uh, I don't know if you'll still be here if I leave and come back. It's getting dark and rainy. Which means it's perfect weather to retire to. I feel a little less safe in here, but also a little more knowing that I can kill them with what I have on hand, even with the recent setbacks. Although making a Rufus-style wall of gas canisters may also be in the cards. <laughs> Those who have seen earlier seasons know the absolute nightmare I'm talking about. I'll do it this season. 840 credits, wow. That's what happens when you just disregard this thing for an episode. Uh, how are we doing? You're finished. You guys are ready to go, and you're all we need. This place really is a certain kind of beautiful, isn't it? William still watching? A silent protector? <laughs> Maybe that offering is actually something of value to him. Oh, look at that. There's, like, Halloween props that we can get in the store. An antique watch, an old repaired Swiss wristwatch. Maybe we can actually tell time on the fly with that. I kind of want that just to see. I'm getting distracted, though. We need to do our job.
I keep getting asteroids and they keep giving me these most disturbing sounds. Okay, that's enough for today. I find it really funny that we're adding insult to injury to the pig that caused us so many problems and our friends so many problems. You know what? I think I forgot to send Monique out today. Oh, fine. Didn't you say offline before? Oh, also, I've noticed there seems to be... There seems to be a Minecraft thing now where you can't fall down if you're crouching. That's pretty good to know. I'm thinking what I'm going to do now is go out, grab India, just so that I'll have something, and then make sure that, you know, just something goes out. I won't get the full job, but it'll be something. Oh no, did they patch this? I can't crouch under here anymore. Maybe it's because the model changed. Maybe it's because I am wearing the tinfoil hat and the helmet. I don't know. But if so, that's a really useful shortcut down the drain. God, I had forgotten just how close India is. Convenient for stuff like this. Yep. Maybe I could even go for Mike. I don't know. Off. Get out of here. I hear things out there. And once again, I don't know if it's part of the patch or part of this event, but every time I do hear it, I can't save, meaning nastiness is probably not far off. Hopefully that huge haul of signals we sent out the other day helps us to still get our good boy points this week, but even if not, I'm not really super worried about it these days. You've got plenty of time. We probably could have gone for Mike. But that doesn't matter now. Look at our sleep. Some of you actually suggested that I do a full-on, like, sleepy playthrough. I'm not entirely opposed, I just eh, feel like it would be very challenging. And apparently there's a lot of weird stuff that can happen when you're sleep-deprived. <laughs> My only regret is that I can't climb into one of these beds. They look way comfier than the ones we've got downstairs. Or, I mean, right here. What am I talking about? Sleep. We have a conundrum. Kel's just on sleep striking till I can kill all the invaders. I'm just... We're, we're on borrowed time here. I am burning through coffee at an alarming rate. And even though we can afford more, some of you guys have told me that health or sleep that you gain through coffee diminishes much more quickly. And I believe it. All you guys are kind of clustering over there by Stonehenge, oddly enough. William might actually be able to see something right now. Hang on. I think I just accidentally sent for nothing. Is the drone actually going to come? Swatter. I need to put that stuff back in my thing. I'm curious. Will you actually respond to that? Huh, well that's funny. I wonder if you would actually take reports. Oh, what now? Kleiner, I told you not to come back here. This is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed. I heard you. I know I heard you. Maybe it's maybe it's because of the drone entering, but you spoke twice. I feel like Shelly Duvall holding her bat in The Shining. Oh, I mean, you're having some very strange frame fluctuations. You guys seeing this? 
Now we're not seeing nothing, boss. We just mine the rig. Oh, you. Alright, this is going at a nice pace. The only reason I'm not collecting right this instant is because I'm stubborn about wanting a nice round 1,000 to be deposited all at once. There's so much out there. <laughs> like the grav gun. And I never know what I should be concerned about in amid the fireflies that look like glowing dots in the distance. Well, you're here. Alright, sure, just let yourself in, fine. You know what, let's just meet you halfway. Can we save now? Nope, you weren't even the problem. I'm so tempted to just go out there and light you on fire. You know I can. I'm a vampire. There you go. <laughs> now you guys can be cleverly disguised as yourselves. Honestly, that thing would be a hit as a children's toy. But please, can I have some sleep? Nope. You can always sense something. I mean, it makes sense. You don't want these things clawing their way in here, but... You would think, if they can't get to us... Problem is, they can. They can get to us. They're just doing a real good job at hiding in plain sight. I can't see them around the base. But the radar says they're here. Alright, now... I've got to be the farmer with a shotgun. In this... case of pickaxe. I don't know if that was the deer or my own illness. Okay, now this is a bit of an upgrade compared to a shotgun. Still, I don't know where they are. I'm just trying to get some sleep, man. Is it actually possible that the calls are coming from inside the house? There's still the matter of that door. But I still can't see anything. Maybe, maybe that was where they were keeping their alien pig corpses. Maybe somebody else also encountered them. And that's just where they were hanging them up to dry. Didn't realize one of them wasn't dead. At a certain point, though, I'm going to have to start relying on these things. And see? Not hungry. Great. <laughs> this rate, Kel's extreme restlessness is what's going to be the death of them. But we have another unknown. What do you do with the information of rapidly approaching footsteps in space? This sleep deprivation is actually getting really serious. Like, potentially run-ruining serious, so I'm just gonna... make sure this is locked and get as far away as I can. And try to get some rest! Okay, well you're still being a little jerk. Alright, let's... eat this horrible for me mushroom. And get going. You guys are mostly gathering in that corner over there towards Whiskey, so we're going this way. Uh, ooh, maybe we don't even need this. Eh, I think the arrival camp will be too close. Wow, I have never had the negative effects of fungus stick with me for this long. I think they may have been changed in this update. There's an object in the sky. Could be the moon. Is all this. What is all this? This looks like it may be some kind of landing pod. I bet they came down in these things, probably dropped right here and then rolled right on off. 
Okay, well, maybe that doesn't make this the best place to sleep, but... Maybe it doesn't not make this the best place? Can't sleep upside down. Hopefully that's the only problem. Thinking, let's grab you. I can still hear that accursed sound. And try to sleep at TR1, which is, you know, kind of like, Mom, can I stay at your place tonight? No, of course not. Of course not. I'm seeing more meat over here. More of them destroyed. If there is a trail of them, it's too dark. All I can really do is keep trying to find places where I can at least pause the game. I don't know how far is too far or if they know where I am and are homing in on me right now, in which case sleep would probably not be the best for me. There really isn't a better way to fight me than to deprive me of sleep. My whole advantage has been the fact that I've got nothing but time on my hands, and now I don't have that. The tables have turned. I need to get back. I need to get back so I can at least pass out of my base. They can break in, but they haven't tried yet, so maybe they'll only do it as a last resort? Do that, too tired. Energy drinks will help. Yeah. Beyond that, I'm not sure. God, what am I supposed to do? I mean, besides kill them, obviously. That doesn't really seem in the cards if they won't even show themselves. I am wearing my tinfoil hat, so please indulge me this conspiracy theory. I'm wondering if maybe this is deliberate. Maybe there's some kind of sonic device out there that I keep hearing. And that's the reason why I can't sleep. Maybe they're doing this to me on purpose. The fact that I know they're out there and I just can't find them. Part of the problem is my lack of any ability to even pin down a location. We're down to this. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I'm gonna need to send you out to get those reports. Please be careful, Monique. And meanwhile, I can only head in the direction of the most contacts and see what I can do. So, once more, that's gonna be over there. I'm picking up stuff that seems to be mine and I don't even know what it is. Oh, there's just so much. Start with TR1 and head over. Meanwhile, you're finished. This has really got the lighting vibe of those early rainy mornings, doesn't it? It's always been my favorite. to work. Let's use our fuel. I have not saved in absolutely forever. And frankly, at this point, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It could reach a point where I have to roll back the save. The last time I saved was right before I tried to grab those last reports. Coincidence, Monique, that we're meeting each other here. Watch this sick trick! Ugh. Oh, come on. You didn't even make a metal crunching sound. You shouldn't be taking damage.
This is just something we have to do. Come on. Uh, we just have to deal with it. Maybe I should come back with some med packs since we can't use Molotovs anymore. If I keep bringing around the Rosie, I mean, this is gonna get dangerous. What isn't in this game? Oh, God, look at that arm move. Huh? This is all I can manage. Yep. I see black smoke. All those punctures. Puncturing them and then tossing the Molotov would probably work best. Hey, uh, wait, will you? Think fast. Oh, no, no, uh, I don't need you for this. Actually, you probably could do something, but you won't. All right, you idle here. Too afraid to try the grav gun and dislodge you. I can see them getting caved in. Yep! That's one. Oh, you didn't like that. Three hits. Oh, but you may you may be making progress towards spring yourself. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is oh. You know I could have foreseen that outcome, but I kinda of forgot you did this. I need to go regroup. We're close. Monique, follow me, please. You are very close to going down. And Melvin here is not nearly close enough for at least one of his cohorts. Uh, nine, I can barely even see my own inventory. Are we getting closer? Right there. I think I I think I have the health to take it on. Oh hey, a piggy is angry. No, come on, don't get stuck now. Not right now. This has been a harrowing experience. Okay. Well, at least this thing will have some time to refuel from the sun. Man, we are... This must be the last couple of days now, assuming it does still go up to level 50. I don't even know if that's true or not. All I know is that we really need to work something out. I think something might have followed me back. Did you hear that? Okay, Monique, you're going upstairs. I am going to order some med kits. I'm gonna eat some more pork. Oh no, that might have just been my own flesh. Whatever, I just needed it for motivation. In order to afford that, we can collect our over 1,000 credits. Thank you very much. And immediately dip just below that in doing this, but that's okay. We should be good as far as our job for today if we get back in a decent time frame. Still can't save. Still can't save, still gotta do killing. I should check the bunker again, shouldn't I? If I'm wearing the hazmat suit, 
Oh wow, this has got an updated model as well. That is really cool. Hang on, does this work the way I think it does? Nope, still too afraid. You're there. <laughs> and we're making our own messy history for the next person to discover. I hope they really are frustrated with me. It makes every second a victory. Especially all the damage I'm doing unexpectedly. Okay, we can get our antique watch. We don't have enough space to carry the med kit. Alright, we may need to go upstairs and get our backpack, but as for the watch... There we go, and we can see the time. That is a long, long-awaited feature. There's... Wait, no. There's no friggin' way you're still chasing me. There's no friggin' way you're still chasing me. Alright, well, let's go like this. You're not gonna go until a save reload, huh? Or, I think maybe if you knock me down, then maybe you go away? Or if you do it enough times? But in any case, I've got stuff to kill, and I don't need you showing up to ruin it. Okay, this health kit is nearby, should we need it? In the meantime, I'm gonna come deal with you. Let's make this happen. Remember, we have not saved in a long time, so I am invested in this. Ugh. Let's get away before this explodes even more, shall we? We are miraculously unscathed by that, but... Once again, we have persevered, adapted, and overcome. And these still carry quite a bit of fuel in them, if we can bring them back. They're very, very heavy too, but you know what? We could always use these to make more Molotovs. There is substantial reward for bringing down these great beasts. Although, it won't ever be easy. We got lucky to basically give ourselves a, a tutorial in the form of that one. But now we have finally, finally earned the right to save. Okay, I'm gonna head back before the next big thing happens. Uh, Melvin, you just missed the whole thing. I had to be there. It was awesome. I did my job. I protected the base. There's that sound again. It never seems to come from the same place. Sometimes even seconds apart, it seems to differ. Maybe it's just a part of the game now. Maybe it's just a part of the ambiance. But I don't know. I'll take whatever street pork I can get. I was actually doing some reading on the subreddit, carefully avoiding spoilers, trying to figure out how I can pick up the Molotovs again. And I didn't find out that information, but I did see people mention that maybe there is actually more to the Halloween thing. Uh, if that's the case, I'll just change my system clock and show you that when I know how to do it. I do have the save now, and you know, so maybe it is permanent, I don't know. But I am just about ready to wrap it up here. This has been extremely harrowing. I wonder if there could even be like an Iron Man mode for this at some point, and what that would be like. Maybe it would be kind of unexciting, because since there are no real threats for most of it, ma the main things that would kill you would be just kind of falling. But I feel like there is a world in which that could be made fun and interesting. 
or maybe even like a continuous mode where if you die you come in as the next researcher and you have to start with like zero points and stuff but you have to make the walk back to the base and find everything in the state it was left in almost like restarting a project zomboid world on a new character after all this i feel that i have more and earned some actual real sleep. It feels so good, I can practically feel it myself right now. Oh, yeah. Literally like an hour or more where I wasn't able to save, and while I was dealing with like some of the most actual real threats in the game, that was something. How close I came to death a couple of times. Not looking for a repeat, just saying it came out well. But you are up there. This one is actually taking a really long time to download. There's some towers down, but it shouldn't be this bad. And then again, some of them probably haven't been calibrated in a long time. Still some contacts out there, but we're working our way through them. They're less dense. We can deal with them. And in the next episode, that's what we're going to be focused on. But that's not what I'm focused on right now. And I'm not ending it right now. Instead, what I want to focus on is... Whoop. Uh, I've just run into a strange bug. I can see my mouse. I can't control the game. Okay, my best guess about what happened right there is that I tried to remove the last page from a notepad that was already completely torn out. And so it just didn't know what to put on the screen. And so I had no way to remove it, or at least no visible way to remove it. So we're going to leave that over there. That's the cursed notebook. And I'm sure I'll screw myself over with it in the worst way later on. But in the meantime, I can try and find another one, another piece of paper somewhere. It's raining flesh. Hallelujah. But I can get rid of all that and tear it off. And now I can bring that to Eerie, pretending that I didn't just reactivate this thing again so that it would be the way I left it. Yep. Two peas in a pod, you. There you go. I just need to hand it to you. Oops, no. We're gonna keep that out of your sight. Come on. A lot of money in the account right now, so you can have whatever you like. Pumpkin. You would like a pumpkin. You should probably be ready with all sorts of foods, so I'm also going to order cheese and breb. Uh, great. Here we go again. Oh, and here's you, still trying to get at me, but not on fire anymore. You might be a bit of a permanent bug, actually. Hmm. Well, better take your picture so that people know. Maybe you're the reason why I can't save at this point. Either that or something's moved closer. Hey, good job keeping them out, guys. I know I can count on you. God, this thing just makes money so quickly now. I, I literally don't even think about credits anymore. I just go to buy stuff and it's there. But now we're going to have to open up. Of course it was going to take the sleep away from me. Alright, we'll try... We'll try and grab gun him. And if that doesn't work, we'll just kind of let him hit us. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh no, that's a can opener. Yep. Wait, why is some stuff missing from our inventory? What happened to our pickaxe and whatnot? It's probably sitting in the pile of stuff up there. All right, we can go get it back. Uh, you're stuck. Yep, not for long though. Okay, do what you will. You're. And now you're not satisfied. I can't grab you either. Okay, now you're just being a jerk. Can I lure you into the water? That's another question. Got threats from all angles, huh? 
Oop. Can pick you up. There you go. You're having a hard time pushing against that current, huh? <laughs> uh, later, Melvin. I win again. I'm now remembering that I really should be doing this away from potential problems. There you go. Oh, wait. Can I give this to you? You said you wanted... You said you wanted a pumpkin. You said you wanted pumpkin. What 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 do you want? It's because I moved you. Hang on, let's see if you give us something new. Chicken nugget. Okay, we can buy you a chicken nugget. Hearing splashing all over, and I do not like it. We have. All kinds of additional food items, including the chicken nuggets you asked for. Here you go. Nom nom nom. Alright, let's give that stuff back to you. It's like using a very hungry Ouija board. Chicken nugget! You would like another chicken nugget. Good thing I ordered two. Pen, miss. Shrimps pack. I uh, gotta go order. Howdy, Pigga. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You stay away from her. You deal with me and me alone. Alright, we're gonna try the same exact thing as before because it works. It just works. Unless... Wait, I might have a better idea. Yep. Inspired by my earlier... Oh, right, I don't have the pickaxe! Hang on, can you be right... Can I be right back? What did I just see for a fraction of a second there? Right, hang on, this needs to be sent out. In the meantime, here, you... No, no! Look here, in the meantime, you take that. <sighs> you go out. Meanwhile, maybe it would be more expedient just to use the crowbar. I can't swing it at all, unless I've got something to hit it with. I can kinda- I can kinda outrate you in this fight. <laughs> yep, there we go. But I don't know how many hits you need to get on me. I've still got the med kit in the other room. You're just the 11th hour bad guy that shows up right when you think you've won, huh? Air support is on the way. Hey, Eerie, do you like pork? <laughs> oh, look. Wow, we actually blew the paper into your hands. <laughs> and now we can save once more. We may have to order another pencil, though. That thing's probably long gone. Sorry, I didn't get the last part of that, but to be honest, it hardly matters. I'm not as scared of what's up there since it came down here and I killed it. Then again, perhaps I should be scared. That's a lot of things. I have no flashlight left, no batteries. So many orders now. Come on. Cheese. Okay, we plan for this. Nope, come on. 
What do you want now? Toblerone? I didn't know you could get Toblerones. Never mind, something else is happening. Malicious or not, that is the question. Well, let's get the lady what she wants. We can watch these on the cameras. They seem slow moving. Oh. And the deer still seems a jerk and still likes to sit in the chair. Well, you know what? Screw you. Oh, screw you! How am I supposed to get eerie stuff? This might be a time to set you on fire. I This has to be done in one go. I can't reload right now. Look at them. They're actually really pretty. So much like earth jellyfish just suspended in the water, bioluminescent in the dark depths. Look at him go. Just passing through. They're like a constellation, almost. Only because of the rain and the clouds, they've got no stars to share the spotlight with. Well, let's set fire to a deer carcass. I know, where are you? <laughs> You know, I'd really like to get a good look at them on camera, but the zombie deer is causing a bit of an issue in that regard. I hear your flies. I'm stepping over. I think the time has come to finally get rid of you. Ooh. Seems like the right time to send you off. I think you can just hang out and do nothing for like episodes at a time, only occasionally showing up to be a huge issue? Well, I'll show you. Of course, how long does a partially eaten deer corpse take to burn, huh? Yeah, that's right. You see what I'm doing out there. Looks like they're making their way to the edge. I would so love to watch you from the windmill cameras, but, you know. Actually, maybe from here? No. You're really screwing this up for me right now. But at least we have our photos. Our photos and our memories. Alright, Eerie, here's your Toblerone. It's taking significantly longer than last time. Still more. Okay, you're quite a bit of a glutton compared to last time. Coffee chocolate bar. I happen to have one. Oh my god, you want a burger now! It seems our unwanted guest has finally left us. Oh, and the windmill can actually still see them. That's wonderful, so we do still get the chance. As nothing more than pink dots sailing through the sky. Can't see them on thermals at all. Imagine they stay. Look at that, we got 300 good boy points, even in spite of the problems. Those things are still out there.
but they have left radar range. There are other things, but one could be the creature from the cave that still leaves at least three. There's the pig in his pen and a couple of others, but I think we're a lot safer than we were when we started this video, that's for sure. And it's starting to feel more like they're trapped in here with me. Here's your burger. Oh my god, really? You've got to be kidding. I'm starting to wonder if something's bugged here. Because last time you did this in like three items. Cheese. I gave you cheese before, now I don't have any cheese. You know what? I'm tired, I've been recording for over four hours. I'm just gonna take whatever the last save was and wait until next time. This has certainly been a packed part and I really want Monique to see you take your first step soon. But it seems like your caloric needs are off the charts, which makes sense given all the evil energy you're harboring. But that'll have to wait until next time, when we take the fight right back to those who are now hiding in the outskirts. But until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Absolutely beautiful.